When spring temperatures start to warm, it is time to remove mulch so the plants can begin to grow. This is another task where timing is very important. Well, it's about the third week in April in West Central Minnesota. And here at the West Central Research and Outreach Center, the average date of removing our winter straw mulch from the June bearing strawberry plot is around April 20th. We do use uh, special soil thermometers to help us gauge that when to properly remove. But again, you want to remove it at the right time, not too early, not too late. We use the Armstrong method, which means we bend over and we sweep it away by hand. We have several different machines that have been built to take the straw off, but we've never quite gotten the, uh, the perfection that we need when we're taking straw off. We want to leave enough straw on the bed so that the berry has a cushion, so it's not having a direct soil or maybe even a direct uh, plastic contact that gets hot or that gets muddy or sandy. And uh, so we take most of it off by hand and we may do it in two different stages, but uh, we become quite proficient at it and uh, it works very well. Well, we're removing the straw mulch from the strawberry rows uh, using a regular garden rake. Um, if the straw tends to be a little wet, but it's, it's in perfect condition right now, you might want to use a fork and that works a little easier when the straw is wet if you're doing this method by hand. But uh, for the most part, this large rake works real nice. Just taking off just a little bit so you can see the strawberry plants. Well, how we take the straw off in the spring hasn't changed since 1983. And, uh, you know, farmers, we make poor quitters, you know. If, and if some, this has been working okay. Sometimes, it, uh, some years works better than others, depending on how wet the straw is, the amount of wind, uh, uh, you know, things like that. There are a few variables. But what this machine is here, very simply, is an old windrow turner used for turning uh, windrows of hay over in the field to let them dry out on the other side. So uh, very simple, it's just the, the uh, two wheels here are ground driven, so just the fact that they're being pushed forward automatically makes them want to spin and kick the straw out of the way. So very, very simple. Uh, I know that you can get hydraulic driven uh, uh, demulchers and things like that, but uh, this piece of equipment has worked and uh, we're just sticking with it. The amount of straw we like to leave on top of the row is, you know, is, a, is a, you know, an inch, inch or so of, of uh, fluffy straw. You can see that, you know, the leaves from last year are uh, poking through here. You can see a, a little spot right here where there's, you know, a couple inches of straw. Um, We'll come by and walk every row with pitchforks or rakes or something like that and manually just hit little spots like that and just take it off. We don't want to have bare ground. We don't want to take it right down to the ground because uh, as the plants come up and push through the straw, then they go into their fruiting and the ripe berries, when they get nice and big and heavy, are going to sit right on top of this nice clean straw and it's a great barrier uh, between that and the soil and helps reduce uh, disease.